Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to microchip puppies. So this is a really quick video. It's super easy. You can technically microchip your own dogs at home. A lot of uh, breeders will already have the puppies that come to you microchipped, which is what I do with my Border Collie. So I have two girls here um, that are ready to be microchipped. And they are full of energy. So when you're doing a microchip, you're going to want to put it between their shoulder blades. And these guys are super fuzzy, so it's hard to show you that, but we'll get a closer look at it when we get ready to do the microchip. I use AKC Reunite microchips. You can use any brand you'd like. They have Home Again and then some others that are not specifically associated with um, like a registry like these with AKC. These, although they're AKC chips, I mean, they work with any dog, so I mean, you don't have to put them in AKC dogs. All of my Border Collies are AKC registered, so this is what we use. All microchips will come with a serial number or the actual microchip number. You want to make sure, once you get it in there, that this matches up with what you actually scan. So um, you'll also want to make sure your new owners have uh, the extra barcodes for this so they know what their dog's microchip number is and can get that registered to them. Uh, the way microchips work, um, this particular chip number um, goes into a database and once the person registers the chip number with their information, if the dog is ever lost and they scan the microchip, this number will come up with that person's information so that they can get in contact with the owner. All right, girls. All right, girls. You're super excited, right? Okay, okay. I know. So each of these come with little tags for the collar. Just make sure you don't lose that particular one and make sure you keep up with which chip goes in which puppy. Now we swapped out puppies. The other one was getting pretty rambunctious and wanted to run around. So here's the other girl. You can use a little alcohol wipe. So these are her shoulder blades right here. And this is where I want to put the microchip. So I just use a little alcohol pad. Puppies can be squirmy. Sometimes it helps to have an extra hand, but we'll do this. I'm pretty good at doing these. You want the bevel to be up on your microchip. Don't have it like this. Make sure it's facing up when it goes in. And this is like giving a shot, pretty much. It goes under the skin. I always feel and make sure I'm under the skin before I release. It's okay, baby. And that's it. So I kind of lift this up under the skin to make sure I can feel that the whole needle is under the skin. After you've put the microchip in, that's what your needle looks like. Every now and then I'll have a puppy that'll yelp. Most of them are good like her. She didn't act like it bothered her at all. Maybe a tiny bit, but she was very good. So this is Allison's chip. Now we're gonna do Rainy's. And these are the names I gave the puppies. Their new owners will give them new names. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of personality. You have a lot of personality, ma'am. Okay. I have a feeling she's not going to like this microchip business. Uh oh, she took the grab. <laughs> okay, back to business. All right, so I'm gonna have you come in closer. You're hard to hold down. Lift up your skin, bevel up. Come on, baby. Goes right under this. Yeah, so she went on for just a little bit. It's in there, I can feel it under the skin. And that's it. Did good. 
You did very good. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now you want to make sure if you're new to doing this, if you've got a fluffy dog like this, fluff them around, make sure you didn't go all the way through the skin and lost your microchip outside from under the skin. I had done that before when I first started doing them. Um, that's why I always lift the skin and I make sure I can feel my needle under the skin before I even release it. But just check, make sure they're good. So if you're placing microchips, you're gonna definitely wanna have a scanner. That way after you've placed the microchips, you can ensure they're scanning properly and that they match the numbers that you have on the, uh, the barcodes. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one scanned and it'll come up with your microchip number and you'll just check that according to the package that you use make sure it matches your barcode and that's it you're set to go and we'll go ahead and scan this girl as well so just press your button and it's scanned so we are good